This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map battle base beta in the north as the orange allies. This is King Kong. And in the south playing as the purple Soviets. This is Fordell. AKA Fordellols, which is what his name used to be five years ago. I don't even know. It's been so long since I've seen this guy play very much. He used to be a pretty top contender in tournaments, ladder wars, and other competitions. And uh, I guess he maybe disappeared 15, 14, maybe even 13, somewhere around there. And apparently he's been playing a bunch of games recently. I don't know if kind of like Vindy's, he's more a little bit rusty and you know, you can see the former glory within there, but he's a bit rusty and not quite tip-top shape. We shall see. Uh, up against King Kong, allied player on Battle Base Beta. So we shall see how this goes. King Kong is not uh, quite at like that Dimon happy level. So that'll give us a kind of gauge to see where Fordell is as far as how he's able to handle a player like King Kong, who is maybe a little bit more prolific in-game than Fordell is, but not necessarily the same height of skill. But we shall see. MCV moves out to the water for Fordell. Peacekeepers looking to clear out these buildings. Nice kill of the bears there by King Kong. He really just wants to secure the high ground, I imagine, to stop the conscripts from killing off, from having the easy pickoff of his oil derrick. Always annoying when that happens. Third refinery coming up nice and quick for our Soviet player. King Kong, not far behind either, but a bit later. Went into the airfield before expansion, but after the second refinery. Fordell with a pretty good hold on the middle of the map, a super duper delay to his War Factory, even going Super Reactor before War Factory, all off of just this barracks play. So it's important for Fordell to hold the center of the map to keep the Vindicators on the King Kong side of the map, and also getting up that third refinery that much more quickly. Stepping up to Tier 2 very quickly helps both of those things as well but it could be one of those situations where the bullfrogs are a little bit lacking, and that might give King Kong an opportunity to really reign supreme with the aircraft. For the current moment, we have no threat of cryocopters as the MCV is still way out here on the water. So for the current moment, Fordell is safe. Going to be forcing King Kong to break through some of those buildings, which isn't too bad of a situation for Fordell drops the flak cannon right there next to the super reactor so he is ready to go he's going to have a little bit of protection for those bullfrogs until they get out in good numbers but the first couple of bullfrogs ooh, and actually fordell skips this high ground expansion entirely it looks like he's going to the other kind of mid ground expansion right there on the right side of the map a bit of an unorthodox expansion pattern but honestly, I feel like in the last year or so, expanding out to what is traditionally the fifth refinery location has become a bit more common and a bit more acceptable on Battle Base Beta. This uh, high ground expansion is closer to home, but it's also typically so heavily contested that it can be real problematic. I think there's more than two conscripts in here, so it may not save the oil derrick, but it'll certainly slow down the ability of those conscripts to kill off that oil derrick. Riptide running around the map. Fordell doing an unbelievable job of keeping King Kong on the northern side of the map. The oil derrick goes down, and that is good enough damage for now for Fordell. Refineries coming up at the fourth place, at the fourth location, in basically very similar timing between these two. And there's the Vindicators spotting the MCV location. King Kong has a really good read on exactly what's going on. But does he have the strength to pull out a strategy that works against this? First hammer tank going to go down. No, King Kong lets a Vindicator die before dropping the bombs. So the hammer tank survives. That's a dead Vindicator basically for nothing. Now that's two dead Vindicators for the chunk of health off of that hammer tank. Big mistakes there by King Kong. Not big mistakes, but 
uh, in an even tight match where, where both players are very much on the same foot, losing two Vindicators in that fashion would be a nice touch of an edge for our Soviet player. But it all is going to be coming down to, and especially since cryocopters aren't going to be factoring in, oh, King Kong, he is that worried. He's actually going to reposition a, a harvester so that he can get the tier two up and running on this front line. I assume the war factory is going to be deployed over here at the MCV location, and that'll give King Kong an opportunity to try and pull some kind of flank together and work with, work his main base and his expansion at the same time. Harvesters, uh, cryo shot coming out. I'm not sure about harvesters, but hammer tanks on the other hand going to be getting pulled away from the front line. Conscript stepping forward to do a bit of damage. They're not so much trading against the javelin soldiers, which is more of what you want. Fordell going to be able to clean up a couple of these riptides using that leech beam to get extra value for his hammer tanks. One hammer tank might go down. It's so low on health. That might actually be the hammer tank that was taken a chunk out of it by the Vindicator earlier on. Bear gets eliminated. The anti-infantry is a little bit weak. Fordell has bought enough time to get the bears onto the front line. King Kong might need to start utilizing the sides of the map a little bit more. Perhaps dolphins scooting around the side of the map. Maybe a couple of riptides along the north side and then down the left edge of the map to harass... Well, that's already gone, so never mind about that. Toxins possibly coming through. Yeah, it's going to be the toxins onto this multi-gunner turret. Riptides against the hammer tanks. Not good numbers here for Fordow. Now that the cryocopters are a factor in this match, it makes it a bit more difficult for our Soviet player. He's back up to that fourth. King Kong sitting pretty with his defense. Cryocopter going for the harass. One flak trooper not quite going to be enough. Vindicator gets the kill. And King Kong, I think, saves one bomb for the harvester. There's the kill of that. Oh, actually, splits bombs perfectly. Gets the flak trooper on the way out as well. Fordell looking for the opportunity. Another Vindicator cleaned up. Although it looks like it crashed into a bullfrog or a hammer tank. Coming down the ramp. He's going to be trapped on the low ground. Guardian tanks are here waiting for them. Hammer tank pushes forward. He's going for the multi-gunner turret. He's going to try and break the kind of front line, but actually the back line of King Kong. Cryocopter explodes over top. Those bullfrogs have done their job, and now it's up to the hammer tanks to clear out the infantry. Goes for the crush. There's the resize of one hammer tank, and the numbers are on the size of Fordell. The bullfrogs need to step forward. They need to cut down that cryocopter and maybe just assault from the high ground. Use the leech beam to wear down the war factory and heal up these hammer tanks that are getting desperately low on health. Another guardian tank goes down, but another hammer gets eliminated as well. The bears don't connect with the javelin soldiers, and King Kong pushes Fordell back onto the high ground and back away from his main base. These hammer tanks without any repairs, without any heals, are so vulnerable, especially on the retreat like this. Pulling away from the front line, the cryocopter gets sniped. King Kong, not without his own mistakes, not without his own errors, giving Fordell a bit more of a fighting chance in this game. Harvester getting back online, extremely low on health. Cryocopter hunts through the middle of the map. The third cryocopter. King Kong would have loved to have been able to keep all three of his cryocopters alive. Three of those shrink rays all coming out would, uh, would definitely help him seal the deal on any upcoming engagement. One of Fordell's weakest points is that he has to drive so far back for the repairs. He's keeping up the aggression, but I'm not sure how much uh, he, how much more he can really keep. He finally did stick a flak trooper inside of that sieve structure, but I think it was only one flak trooper. And he's a little bit strapped for cash, so his flak cannon is not finishing as quickly as he would like. Cryocopter moving forward, MCV heading to the high ground. Fordell going to try and shut down the MCV. He can go for the infect with the Terror Drone. 
Fordell moves to the low ground. Cryoblast fires off. Bullfrogs avoid it. Only the bear gets caught. And now it's going to be Assault the MCV time. Terror Drone runs in there, gets frozen, needs to get unfrozen relatively quickly, and King Kong isn't even going to try and save it. It looks like he's got a multi-gunner turret queued. He's going to try and save it with the defense, but I'm not sure if that's really going to work. Low power mode for King Kong. Bullfrog's chasing away the cryocopters, and it's down for the shrink. It's body blocking with the bullfrogs, and the MCB is barely going to get away. The shrink ray is good enough, and the body blocking barely didn't work. Another cryocopter for the water grave of Davy Jones and the fourth refinery on the high ground may have to be forfeit. MCV redeploys, multi-gunner turret comes back online and it's Guardian Tanks versus Hammer Tanks. The multi-gunner turret is going to swing this more heavily into the favor of our allied player than it otherwise would have been. Finally, the multi-gunner turret goes down, gets a last blast against one of those hammers, but does Fordell have the time to clear out this expansion? He needs to curb this expansion, cut it down, and then if he can at all, get out an airfield and get some mobility onto the map because he is locked into a place that lets King Kong take this map in any direction that he chooses. MCV roaming around the high ground, looking for, oh, he gets crushed, he gets the shrink and the crush for Dell with the critical mistake and King Kong jumping on the opportunity. What a win for King Kong. That one moment gets him 50% of the way there to finishing this game out. Let's see if that MCV is... I mean, he's still got the army on the ground to deal with, but let's see if that MCV is the end of all things or if it gives Fordell the courage to just press forward into the base and try and fight it out on the ground with Fordell, with King Kong. King Kong has the opportunity with his MCV still on the map. Rebuild or just even hold it for the cryo get him. If he had lost that MCV, if Fordell had been able to snipe that MCV, it might be over. There would be no more multi-gunner turrets. There would be no more cryos. Multi-gunner turrets are going to get jumped on. One of them goes down, but the Athena cannon from the low ground getting the shots off against the hammers. Cleans up one hammer, nearly gets a second, and the refinery is going to get targeted down. The cryocopters not being opposed as the bullfrogs are not on the front lines. They're cycled around to the back of this army a little bit too far away from the front line. Hammer tanks stepping forward to meet the Guardians as they raise to the occasion. The Athena cannon just popping off shots unanswered from the low ground. Needs to keep the hammer tanks away from the firepower when they're shrunk down like that. He just has so little army to work with. Another multi-gunner turret getting deployed. Another multi-gunner turret that could have been avoided if that MCV hadn't been able to get away. And now these hammer tanks are trapped behind enemy lines. The split of the bombs is good enough. He's going to go for the harvesters. He's going to go for the power plant and try and just get as much value as he possibly can. But this prospector might just go for the crush. That's a hero prospector nearly getting the crush or maybe even getting the crush on that heroic hammer tank. Goodbye, hammers. And Fordell is buying himself a lot of time. He may have been able to rebuild an MCV, but no, yeah. Okay, the better play is probably just going straight for the airfield. He's got his four refineries, so as long as he doesn't lose any of them, he's got a good enough economy. He's bought himself a good chunk of time with those hammer tanks. If he could only swing out here and kill off that con yard. If he can keep it, this, uh, this four refinery allied player, I was going to say three refinery, but just he deploys an additional refinery. Bullfrog swinging to the south. Everything escapes, but very low health. And it looks like this expansion might stand strong. That Vindicator is so low on health. It might just be enough. This flak, trick, flak cannon that was built so early on is going to get the kill on the Bullfrog just as it gets the kill on the Harvesters. There's the restart the rebuild of that harvester. Athena Cannon is going to get jumped on. No IFVs, no Apollos on the front line. One IFV shows up at just the right time, and the Twin Blades just jump on the Athena. I think that's worth sacrificing one Twin Blade for. I don't know about more than that. He's going to try and jump on the Javelin Soldier, and the IFV escapes with only one Twin Blade down. Fordell manages to get the kill and escape. That 
is what he needs to do to keep himself viable in this game. King Kong proving to be quite a competitor for Fordow. Although Fordow, I remember he used to play random for a chunk of time, and I actually don't remember what his main faction was. I don't know if it was Allies, Empire, or Soviets, but I know that he played a decent amount of random, and so I don't know, maybe Soviets isn't his favorite faction. I know certainly in the last year or two, there have been uh, probably more complaining about AVS as a matchup than almost anything else. Toxins get deployed. Satellites getting called down, I'm guessing. Doing a bit of damage to the Harvester, keeping it offline for a moment. Fordell really needs to sweep and just clear these cryocopters. If he doesn't clear the cryocopters, this army can do insane amounts of damage. Apollo gets annihilated. King Kong steps forward, but with a bad angle on the engagement, two Mirage tanks get eaten up. Cashback reward for Fordell. He gets a little bit of cash. He kills some units, and he gets paid for it. Clearing that Apollo also gives him so much opportunity to try and close in on these Cryocopters, MiGs coming in. No, the Bullfrogs clean them out. Only one Cryocopter escapes low health. And Fordell with his MCV, he is ready to go. Oh, well, Cryogeddon's going to fire off, and this is going to force the engagement. Fordell steps forward, trying to avoid the Cryogeddon. Once again, that MCV event hadn't escaped. No Cryos for King Kong. Guardian Tank steps forward. It sacrifices itself to get the kill on that frozen Bullfrog to go for those hammer tanks as well. And King Kong has expended his army, but Fordell has stood against the tide of allied armor. And now there's an opportunity. There's still a decent number of multi-gunner turrets dotted around the map. Actually, I guess they've, they've kind of been pushed back a little bit. There's still three or four of them that it's going to make these Twin Blades difficult to really be uh, super effective. Multi-gunner turrets getting some shots off as well. Don't want to trade out those. Uh, we're back up to five refineries. Don't want to trade out too many of those twin blades. If you could jump on this MCV, it's been mostly repaired up. This is also a potential weak spot. Two power plants out here could be sniped. And this is where Fordell has won a victory, but it's not an outright win of the game. If he had, if he had been able to keep King Kong down off of four refineries, keep him on three refineries for a longer section, and then if he had cleaned up the entire army like he did, it would have been a different story. But King Kong has been on four refineries, shortly five refineries, now back down to four working refineries. Uh, where's the MiGs? Apollo's chasing two twin blades. Not for free. The Apollos both go down, but Apollos are cheaper than twin blades, so... That works out in the favor of our allied player, and you're always happy to trade out a couple of Apollos if it keeps those Twin Blades off of your back when you're playing allies. Twin Frog is one of those compositions that, that is difficult for everyone to deal with. Two fully heroic Bullfrogs and a double vent Bullfrog. Somehow Fordell has rebuilt his entire army. Peacekeeper gets crushed. King Kong, I think, probably has to play this one out a bit more defensive from this position, but he's still got a good shot at this game. King Kong is about to get caught. His Athena Cannon and his Mirage Tank separated out. This is not what you want. You want the Athena Cannon popping off three shots before anyone can get close enough to do anything in return. MCV once again going to get targeted down. It's a running to the water, and this is the moment where King Kong repays, or rather Fordell repairs what King Kong did to him. The escape out onto the water, perfectly executed there. The Athena Cannon survives, gets free shots as this army retreats, and the MCV needs to get on at a dodge, but the, there is going to be the stasis. You're not getting away from me this time, says Fordell. He closes in on the MCV. That's the snipe. That's the kill that he was looking for 10 minutes ago. This game might have been over if that MCV had died, but no more cryo shots until the MCV gets rebuilt. The harvesters are going to get targeted down. The satellites rain from the sky, and Fordell has carved himself a shot at victory in this game, which is not completely clear, but it's like 80% there. King Kong not giving up. Is he going to move in here and laser lock down this crane? He's going to remove all of the repairability from Fordell. 
And that is going to be that. The one-two punch of the Oil Derrick and the Crane both going down. The Javelin Soldier gets eliminated, but the Oil Derrick sticks around for just a moment. The Apollos join the IFBs, and that's a shredded Twin Blade after shredded Twin Blade. Four Twin Blades remain. Three Twin Blades remain as they crash and land and return to the waiting arms of their reinforcements. King Kong senses an opportunity, goes fully heroic with this Apollo 4 Dell, just donating twin blade after twin blade, hanging out and watching them die. Flat Cannon gets a couple of shots off, but that return to base is too fast. Athena Cannon snipe, but eventually the Flat Cannon gets the kill. MCV moves out to the water. King Kong, I don't know if he's had enough time. He, he has had enough time to rebuild his MCV. I don't know if he's had enough cash to justify rebuilding his MCV and not building army units. I don't know, it takes like a full minute just about to get that MCV rebuilt. There's the freeze. There's the kill of two shrunk down hammer tanks. Fordell sending those, those mini hammer tanks forward. This might be the MCV half done. It, it's worth it for King Kong to get that MCV back up and running. He needs the one clicks. He needs the cryo get him. He's lost two refineries, three harvesters. Yeah, he has no build radius over there, no build radius there. He's down to just two refineries worth of economy. Hasn't had an oil derrick for a long, long time. And oh, he didn't realize. I don't think he realized that his harvesters were all just stopped up on each other. Perhaps Bug Alert 3 is the thing that really killed King Kong. He might have been missing several thousand credits, depending on how long that uh, that harvester was there blocking that up. This is a nearly dead MCV. It's almost just a sell MCV. Get a bit of cash back, but there isn't a crane. I don't think there's a crane. He's rebuilding it now. He needs to keep that MCV around as long as he possibly can. It gets frozen! Moments away from the crane finishing, it gets frozen! The harvester is getting harassed. Fordell desperately trying to take the attention off, but King Kong is going to get the kill. He gets it. The crane gets canceled back home. No crane for Fordell. It's all down to the war factories. Another refinery gets sniped. Might as well clear out this building as well. Don't leave anything to chance as two Apollos skate in close. Way too close to those twin blades. King Kong nearly gets the kill there on those twinnies. Fordell has the army on the ground. He has the army in the air, but it has been a defensive position that King Kong has held for the entirety of this game. And Cryogeddon is back on the menu, boys. Fully heroic Apollo. Ooh, fully heroic Bullfrog. Pushing them back. Three Mirage tanks disguised as delivery trucks. Oh boy, King Kong is so close to losing it, but also he's so close to, you know, one one click away from just being able to crush, shatter the entire army of King Kong. Fully heroic Apollo down! Non-heroic Apollo down as well. King Kong loses his anti-air control. Four Mirage tanks on the front line. Cryocopter step forward. The bullfrogs desperately need to be there. Oh no, the bullfrogs are just out of range. Twin blades pull in. They're going for the harvesters. These are depleted ore mines. So it's not a very big uh, amount of money, but it's a big percentage of the money. There's the cryo getting. Here's the step forward. King Kong is going for it. Fordell wasn't paying attention. He was using his twin blades and that's the army done and dusted. Maybe some of these things will thaw out before the Mirage tanks break them all down, but no, nothing escapes. Nothing survives. It's a base race, perhaps. The Apollo is here. The bullfrogs are on the other side of the map if there are any left at all. One hammer tank survives. Fordell inches away from victory, inches away from defeat. Four Mirage tanks move through the middle of Fordell's base, and they are ready to just turn everything to ash. Twin Blades come in. They're going to go for the jump. There's one MiG here in case the Apollos show up, and the more Mirage tanks clean up pretty much the entire ground army of Fordell but not the War Factory. The War Factory survives. The Mirage tanks go down and the Bullfrogs remain.
barely surviving. Both players just inches away from defeat. King Kong in low power mode, trying to keep as many of his multi-gunner turrets around for as long as possible, but he's got no harvesters. He's got perhaps no income at all with no oil, Derek. He is just completely dead. Oh my gosh, this one oil, Derek, for four Dow has been probably just creating a bigger and bigger percentage of his income for him over the course of this game. Three depleted ore mines at times, perhaps only two depleted ore mines. King Kong putting up a fantastic match. One Bullfrog goes down. Good use of the Precision Bomber there. Killing that allied MCV is so important. And King Kong managed to get it back out. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Fordell forcing the cryocopters to use their freeze on the units rather than on the building itself, giving the Tesla troopers the opportunity to kill off a good number of those peacekeepers. So it's an even trade. The peacekeepers sacrificing their last bit of life. The second MCV rebuild by Fordell, and he also got a crusher crane up somewhere. There it is. So Fordell is back in the game, he's back in business, and he came through strong enough with this twin blade composition that he's kept alive for so, so long. Look at that, two of those guys fully heroic, two of them double vet. It's pretty much done and dusted as King Kong calls the GG and Fordell takes the game. What a match! Fordell making some mistakes, King Kong making some mistakes, but ultimately the two of them coming toe to toe in this game and showing a fantastic allied versus Soviets on Battle Base Beta. King Kong staying neck and neck with that Soviet economy pretty much the entire game just until the end. What a great match from King Kong, a great showing. He's uh, definitely powered up quite a bit in the last year, and I don't think he would have stood nearly a chance even against not necessarily a full power Fordell, but even against a player like this. Uh, too long ago. I don't think King Kong would have done a super good job, but he, he did very well here. Definitely some mistakes on both sides, definitely some uh, attention mistakes, and then also some micro mistakes, but also maybe some bug mistakes from Red Alert 3. So uh, perhaps part of King Kong's income was hampered by that. That will do it for this video, for this game. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Cybert, signing out.